throw something in for it's fighting me. Trying to do Spartan. Get some squats, get some press ups in while you're out here. If you've got your running trainer or your skipping rope, you're gonna have to try and make do with other things, get me?
whether we want to knock out a 400 at a time. But I like to keep it. My body work out, define man a bit more. You know what I'm saying? And you take less of a rest, if you know what I mean. Come up to your 50. Around for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Go back and do your next 50. I like doing it like that. Guys are getting a bit tense up, tense up in the arm. Just keep going anyway. It's tight, you know. You're right, you know. Can't do nothing else. In my shoulder. Explain the shoulder situation. Well, I come out here, Cypress. Before I come out here, I was hitting gym. I kind of like once, twice a week. Running there, training, and running back. But for six of months of the year, stop gym, as I say five and a half slightly. Stop gym was just doing a bit of Thai boxing and then running every day doing press up squats, incorporating different exercises into my running. Really. And you know, when you come out here to a hot country, you slightly get gas, you want to find the gym and do everything. I think I've done one kind of shoulder exercise or lifted something or irritated something what would you suggest if someone's got pain in their shoulder after maybe overworking or maybe not doing enough stretches before the workout what would you suggest to recover from an injury or a minor obstruction to the workout to recover you're not supposed to work on it or I, I could say a good five days, it could be two weeks. That's how everything can, you know, get back intact. Rub some deep heat on it, you know, moisturize it. Keep stretching it every day. Allow applying too much pressure on it, you just have to allow it. I know sometimes you might say, oh, I'm getting skinny, oh, this is messing up my routine. No. Think about your joints, your condition, when you work out and train, you want to be in the best condition as possible. You don't want to be training with any injuries on top of injuries because you would just be making things worse for you and you would have to end up taking longer time out from training. So I suggest you just take your time out, the five days to ten days to two weeks 